Hi there everyone. Welcome to Kirk's channel and this interesting video. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why the summers seem to feel hotter and the winters seem harsher than they used to be? In the year 2023, we witnessed a disturbing reality unfold. The Met Office confirmed that it was the hottest year in recorded human history. The surface temperatures soared, the oceans simmered, and greenhouse gas pollution reached record-breaking levels. Our planet was ablaze, literally and metaphorically. Vast tracts of land were devoured by wildfires, with flames licking the sky and casting an eerie orange hue. These weren't isolated incidents confined to a single region. They were global. From the lush forests of the Amazon to the rugged landscapes of Australia, fires raged, leaving in their wake a trail of destruction and despair. Did any large fires happen around you? Some of my past videos highlight a few of the large fires in the last year. But the heat didn't just spark fires. It brewed storms of formidable power. Hurricanes, more intense and frequent than ever before, battered the coasts, leaving communities to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Most of us even know somebody who was affected by one of these storms. And then there were the silent, invisible changes. Under the surface, our oceans were in turmoil. Marine heat waves, a phenomenon as alarming as it sounds, affected a third of the world's oceans. Watch Kirk's video about the strange behavior from many types of fish in the Florida Keys. These underwater infernos wreaked havoc on marine ecosystems, disrupting the delicate balance of life below the waves. On land, the impact was no less severe. Droughts parched the earth, crippling communities and exacerbating food insecurity. The droughts also caused some of the fires to grow faster and spread quicker, with some regions experiencing record low levels of humidity. Millions of people, particularly in Africa and South Asia, were displaced, their lives upended by the whims of an increasingly unpredictable climate, from extreme flooding to extreme drought. But amidst this grim reality, there were glimmers of hope. The growth of renewable energy, the surge in climate awareness and the collective will to change offered rays of optimism. The signs are clear. Our planet is in distress. But what is causing this and what can we do about it? We'll jump into this question in the next segment. What do you think so far? When we ignore the signs, we pay the price. Ignoring the urgent call to address climate change isn't a simple oversight. It's a decision that comes with severe repercussions. Denial costs all of us dearly. As we've seen in the summer of 2023, the consequences are already unfolding right before our eyes. The world has witnessed a dramatic increase in wildfires, with the last five months marked by relentless burning across our globe, both the North and South hemispheres. These fires don't just ravage our lands, destroying homes and habitats. They release vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, further fueling the cycle of warming. Some say this is a feedback loop or a runaway effect of climate change. Do you agree? And this is just the tip of the melting iceberg, so to say. Climate change isn't just a story of blazing infernos, it's also a tale of water, or rather, the lack of it. Droughts are becoming more frequent and severe, turning once fertile lands into barren expanses. Agriculture, the lifeblood of many communities, is becoming an increasingly difficult endeavour. For some, it's a matter of life and death. These parched conditions are more than just an inconvenience. They're a threat to global food security. But the impacts of climate change aren't evenly distributed. In regions like Africa and South Asia, the harsh realities of a warming world are felt more acutely. Lack of infrastructure combined with poor living conditions disadvantage millions of people. Climate change has exacerbated food insecurity, with crops failing and water sources drying up. Millions of people are being displaced, forced to leave their homes in search of more hospitable conditions. This exacerbates the immigration crisis many countries are facing all around the world. And as our world continues to heat up, these climate refugees will only increase in number, causing even more strain on many countries' borders. The consequences of ignoring climate change are far-reaching and devastating beyond comprehension. But they're not just future scenarios, they're happening right now. Just look around and you'll see them. And while the scale of the problem is staggering, it's important to remember that it's not insurmountable. The consequences of inaction are dire, but we have the power to make a difference. It's time to listen to the signs, to heed the warnings, and to take action against climate change. 
educate those that don't know or deny the facts. Knowledge is power, and we all have the ability to create change because the price of inaction is a cost we can't afford. Every global crisis requires a global solution, but the power of individual action should not be underestimated. It's easy to feel small in the face of such a massive issue like climate change, but remember this, change starts with you, with me, with all of us. You are not alone, we are all in this together. One of the simplest ways to help mitigate climate change is by adopting a plant-based lifestyle. It's been found that shifting towards a diet rich in plant-based foods could reduce carbon emissions by up to 50%. And nowadays the plant-based foods are tasty and packed with natural nutrients. But it doesn't stop there. We can further contribute by reducing waste, recycling more and conserving water. Imagine the impact if we all took these steps. Small actions, when multiplied by millions of people, can transform the world. Power in numbers. Consider this. If every person on the planet recycled just one plastic bottle, we could keep billions of them out of our oceans and landfills. That's the power of individual action, the power to make a real, tangible difference. Better yet would be to choose a reusable bottle for water. The choices we make every day have the power to shape our world. The time to act is now. We have the power to make a difference in the face of this climate crisis. A simple yet impactful step we all can take is to adopt a plant-based lifestyle. It benefits the planet, the animals and ourselves. By reducing our consumption of animal products, we can significantly lower our carbon footprint as the meat and dairy industries contribute massively to greenhouse gas emissions and environmental degradation. But the changes don't stop at the dinner table. Think about how you commute. Can you walk, bike or use public transport instead of driving? What about your energy consumption? Are there opportunities to use less or to switch to renewable sources? Maybe turn off the lights when you leave a room. Small steps lead to big journeys. Each small change adds up and together we can make a significant impact. Remember, it's not just about making these changes ourselves. We need to spread the word, get our friends, families and communities involved. Climate change is a global problem and it needs a global solution. So let's start conversations, share resources and work together to make our planet a healthier home for us all. Together we can make a difference. The future of our planet depends on it. Thanks for watching this video. Help spread awareness by sharing this message. Don't forget to like and subscribe.